All right, Shane. So first question: What it, when you came to me first, you just wanted to get in better shape. You didn't want necessarily want to bulk or cut. What was the hardest part of going up in weight? Um, I'd say the hardest part of putting on weight was the eating. Because before I started with you, I'd say I used to never like my diet was fairly basic. I'd eat healthy, but I wouldn't eat that often. Yeah. And then when you were asking me to do was eat like huge amounts of food, so I just found that eating at the start the hardest, but I'm well actually what? actually being hungry like, was a yeah. struggle. What was the what was the highest your calories went? The highest my calories went was. 3,000, 3,200 I think. So, and you went up 8 kg, wasn't it? I went up 8 kg and then back down to, so I went from 69 to 77 and then back down now I'm at 71. 70, Perfect. 71.6. Yeah. yeah, and how long did it take you to go up the 8 kg? The 8 kg it took me about, I think, 10 weeks. Bar. I had an injury through. Yeah. So we kind of was about to stop start, but all together it was about 10 weeks, 11 weeks. Yeah, and you still played like... I still played rugby the whole way through, yeah. still played rugby the whole way through while putting on 8kg. Yeah, so I was doing cardio three times a week. Yeah, so that's, that's fairly impressive, because yeah. that's going to burn a lot more than the average person. So, when you started cutting again, mm. did you find it hard, or did you, were Funny you glad you, that your calories are coming down again? Yeah, one of the things I found was when I was starting to cut, I was still always eating more than I had before I started any of this, yeah. but I was starving, <laughs> you know, like my, my, my hunger had completely changed. Yeah. I was really, really hungry, even though I would be eating, like, less previously. You know? Yeah, so you were eating, you were losing weight, eating more than you had in the... Before I started, yeah. yeah. Which is nuts, yeah. Yeah, and how, what was the highest amount of cardio we did? Uh, we didn't. We did ten. We did, <laughs> we did ten minute walks uphill for every session for the twelve week cut. That's all. That's all we did. We never so, ventured into running or anything. Yeah. And then, what was your favorite part about the training? You took to the training easy enough because you had a good base yourself. Um, I really enjoyed just having. It was the first time I ever actually stuck to a program. I had a program. I've been going to the gym for years before this, but I never actually had Monday push, Tuesday pull, or as it was recently, like Monday legs, then chest and back, and then arms and shoulders. I never had it separated like that, and I never followed it like that at all. But actually sticking to a plan and seeing progress and knowing what you're doing is the right thing to be doing was, was the best thing about it. Like, yeah. You know you're going in the right direction constantly. Like, yeah. Because without that, before that, it was just no direction whatsoever. Yeah, and you did all your training uh, away from me. Obviously, yeah, so you, first last yeah, week. first ever session last week yeah. about 24 weeks in. Yeah, so did you find it hard being away from me, or did you was it easy enough to stick to the plan yourself? Or um, did you get enough details? I did, but I was hassling every week for phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every the, the phone calls were what made it though, really, because you could. Like, I suppose in YouTube and exercises that I wouldn't have had done before and you linking me on videos and stuff, like, you're able to figure it out. Yeah. But, uh, obviously, I probably, at the, I would recommend probably at the start of, before we go into a 12 week, just to go through it, maybe one day in person would be, would be great. Like, yeah, exactly. We got, yeah. we got the phone calls every week, which is, which is, which is perfect as well. Like, so. yeah. yeah. And where did you notice the biggest improvement in the gym? We'll see it later today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I'd say, uh, I'd say back probably. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely back. And your energy levels and all that, even though you're training very hard, energy levels, um, like time management, so like preparing food and all that, did that suffer too much because you were training so hard? And no, it was never too much. It was never really too much. Um, the only thing I did find was I had like. In June, I had a few specific dates where I was going to go drinking, like I yeah, yeah. Go, like I had body and soul, and I had a trip away. So, trying to coming home and then nipping it in the bud and just going to the gym the next day, like and just getting back in straight away, was probably the hardest thing. But as soon as you do that, it's, you're back in. Then, like, yeah, absolutely. So when when you're not a when you're not a competitor, it's inevitable that you're going to have events, you know, yeah. weddings, whatever, festivals, whatever it might be. Yeah. So the fact that you were able to manage that and still do a cut is, is impressive. Yeah, so what I'd do as well a lot of the time, say if I was going out 
say one day a week. It wasn't one day a week, but if it was one day of that week that I'd be going out, I'd have six gym sessions. So I'd just try and plan it that I wouldn't have to go to the gym the day after I'd be out. Yeah. That's kind of what worked for me, but that wasn't too often. Yeah. And calories and macros, you hadn't much experience before. No. Did you find it stressful or over the top having to track calories and macros? Um, yeah, at the start it's a bit like intimidating, you're like, what does this even mean, why am I tracking this? <laughs> but yeah. but uh, the app is great, like, the my fitness class class. Yeah. Like, and uh, like, you explaining to me what macros are and how we're going to go up and down and like, going, like, cutting my carbs if I was going drinking and putting it back up after and stuff like that. Once you explained it to me, it was, it was easy because you know what you're doing. Then. Good stuff. Thanks. Well done. No, thank you. <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see from that interview there, obviously Shane is an online client I've had for the last six months, a uh, little over six months, seven months. So he's my first ever online client. Uh, I've helped people out with online programs a good bit, but I've never charged anyone and I've never had anyone over a sustained period of time like I would say in the gym when they come to me and the usual stay in time is 12 weeks to six months or three months to six months. So I helped him through all WhatsApp and um, FaceTime and we contacted each other every week through that and I just alter, you know, uh, altered his program through that, his waist training program and his diet based on how he was feeling and the photos he was showing me, uh, etc. So as you can see he got excellent results, his body weight went up 9kg when we were bulking, back down another 7kg when we were cutting and to a leaner, bigger, stronger, uh, healthier as well. He's eating more food, his energy levels are good, uh, down to 81 kg again. So I don't actually advertise my uh, online training much. Keen and Brendan, or Keen and Dave are the ones who have all the online clients because they've enormous Instagram followings. But I do do online coaching as well. This is the first time I've done it properly because I've stuck to actually being a good trainer in the gym. Too many trainers jump online, but that's a discussion for another day. So if you'd like to follow in Shane's footsteps, just contact the page as usual. I hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe.